back like we never left BDA and this episode consisted of the wrap up. While it was not as bad as the previous episode, it was not as it wasn't good. It wasn't that good. The best part of this episode was Sabo versus Burgess, okay? And Burgess, even though he's on the floor, he's laying there, and he's about to get his ass whooped, he finds the time or the audacity to kind of talk about Ace and put Ace down. And Sabo was just looking at him like, are you crazy? And Sabo proceeds to grab his head with the dragon claw. Sabo then pays homage to Ace and... He can, right? That was the best part of the episode. Like, I'm not sure what Burgess was playing on. I'm not sure what he was trying to accomplish by doing that, but it, it, nothing good could have come out of that. Like, the point of saying that stuff about Ace at that point after you've gotten defeated, that was pointless, you know? And that brings up the question, how strong is Burgess? How strong is Sabo? Because Sabo's second revolutionary army, Burgess is the first division commander of the Black Bay Pirates, which, you know, should mean something. But I think we can all agree that Burgess is not stronger than Chiryu because he was weaker than Ace pre time skip blackbeard did say you're not ready for that guy so therefore i think burgess I'm, I'm not sure how strong burgess is so that's that's up in the air the rest of the episode was pretty much the wrap up we see them uh, basically airlifting go flamingo um and then what's going on right now is the admirals or isho fujitora he's setting this up to kind of apologize to king riku because the citizens are asking king riku okay we get it now we get what happened we, we understand that everything that happened back then was not your fault all this was do flamingo min do flamingo's manipulation and you know king riku we apologize all this stuff and Riku at this point, he's trying to kind of take it all on himself. In comes Fujitora and he basically says, you don't have to take all this. We know why this happened. And of course, prostrate him, all the Marines. And they're broadcasting this to the three neighboring islands to kind of let them know what was going on, the state of Dressrosa. And they basically said, Doflamingo is the one that did this. This is the cause of a warlord being on this island or being in control of a particular island at you know being protected by the world government and you know Fujitora did say that he wants to get rid of the Shichibukai so this is kind of playing into his hands he's kind of addressing his own agenda while at the same time exposing the world government for their darkness that's kind of been hidden but we've seen it before with smoker and all that stuff so now Isho is bringing it all to the forefront so I mean I guess it's okay Okay. At the end, they did tease that they were going to give us or show us the the reactions to people seeing that Dofam or Law and Luffy has taken down Doflamingo, but they ended off with the seagulls, and we saw a preview to the next episode, which looks hype. If you see that a rude scene and you see him look to his left, if you read the manga, you know who is to his left or to his right, rather. If you read the manga, you know exactly what's happening or who is happening let me know what you thought about this episode i thought it was all right it was better than the last episode but that's not really saying much it was all right okay so uh, like always let me know what you think like the video if you did subscribe to the channel if you have not that would be dope have a good day people